Hey guys and welcome back to Cobblemon. So today we've got some very fancy stuff for you. So uh, <laughs> during the time of between now and my last episode, a lot I get again a lot has changed. So I'll go through, this. I'll go through all that with you. Don't worry, don't worry. So first off, as you saw in my opening, the farms is looking better. <laughs> So, as you can see, I've done quite a bit of work here, but I'll, I'll get down there in a second. We'll, we'll start up here first. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, Jim, who's hiding in the corner, now has a house. So, um, he was over here. He was just—he was in a box over here, which wasn't great. So, I've given him, him his own house. It's not furnished it's literally just got a bed in it but I, I'm too scared to go in there because in case he'll kill himself because he's tried to do that before um <laughs> so I I'm just gonna leave him in there he's a pillager he likes uh minimalist stuff he, he doesn't like too much he's told me I promise he's told me so yeah Jim's now got his own house we've got for a very uh cute and pretty design for the house using lots of amethyst and cherry tree or cherry wood so i i really like it it's really pretty and cute and i got i got these little light bulb things as well which i thought really match and you'll see them all around uh the base as well so i thought yeah, yeah it's pretty okay so over here we have my vineyard so this is where i'm going to be growing all of my grapes and it's it looks nice I, it's not great it's not like fully decorated that hurts by the way <laughs> it's not fully decorated i still need to finish this as well but you know it's enough to keep me going so i do have all four different types of grapes so we've got the uh jungle on the on the um trellises so we got a red and white over there and then we've got normal grapes so these are just i'd assume plains grapes but i'm not sure they're just red and white grapes uh, on the tall tip so yeah we've got them and then we have savannah so these are the savannah grapevines speaking of <laughs> hey do you have anything nope it's quite ironic that you'd showed up <laughs> when you did <laughs> yeah we've got savannah grapevines here so they're all nice and fully grown so if you haven't noticed i got two rows of each but yeah i have got my my jungle up here but i've only got one because there's only enough well i do have the back actually so technically i do have two rows of it so yeah and then we have the tega as well so this is a tega it's slightly brickly but yeah that is my little vineyard and if you haven't worked out already i might be doing something with this in the future uh, to have a little bit of fun so <laughs> yeah this is this is to come that uh, little project so I look forward to seeing that and then we come down here it is looking a little better now I fixed the uh, the little wall here because I wasn't really happy with it I've gone for a gradient uh, appearance now uh, but yeah looking prettier so Along here, we've got all of the berries that I collected prior to the second episode. So, they're all still there. And then over here, we've got my farms. We've got tomatoes, we've got onions, and we've got cabbage over here. So, yeah. I am growing quite a lot. I did also grow vivichokes, but they seem to be a one-time grow thing. So, they haven't been replaced. And then over here, we've got my little orchard of cherry and apple trees. So we got this. This all needs to be decorated still, but that that's a little that's a little project for the future. So if you also noticed in the opening, I have made the path all pretty. So as you might know, <laughs> I live in a cherry blossom biome, and I thought you could use these uh these little petals. Because they're really pretty and cute and I was like, okay, we can decorate the paths with them. So, I did that and it's looking pretty. And then down here we've got the automatic farms. They're a bit glitchy, but 
I do the job. <laughs> so we've got the wheat farm, which Sandy got me for Christmas. She made this for me and taught me how to make them. And then I ended up making these two. So uh, I will show you that in a, in a minute, as, pro as I promised. So if you caught me on stream building this, this is my, I'm going to say organic or farming uh, storage. So we got lots of uh, sugarcane, kelp, lots of flowers and stuff. We got my berries in here. We've got uh, saplings and seeds. So that is my, uh, my little farming storage room. So as promised, let's get into the little clip of me and Sandy making this little thing right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this will be the center point. And then where do you want your interface? So where do you want it to connect where it drops off the stuff, off the food? Maybe on this side. Maybe like do a tunnel Because we can, here. if we have a water column down here, going to a central chest, we mm. can do that. Because the stuff can output into a water stream. So I think get your get your system ready that you want to use and how you want the stuff sorted. And then we'll just build the farms and then I'll connect a conveyor system from the interface into your farm. I like it how we're all basically doing the opposite compared to last season. Well, I'm not like so far ahead that I don't know what to do with myself. I'm behind. <laughs> Isaac's taking it slow. Potato's trying to be, you know, speed, speed runny. Uh, Emity's not solo again. Oh wow, jeez, that <laughs> confused me. I was like, <laughs> scratching my head. <laughs> With an empty hand, you're going to click the top of that box above the square, where that grey bar is. Okay, so we can see that it's turning anti-clockwise. The teeth in front of it, you miss the first block, and you just go to the side. Then the chest can go there. And then when we when this spins around, it's going to come to this point. Uh -huh. And all we need to do is just glue it together, so with super glue. And then if we did another one of these over here, uh -huh. so if we did this, it will it will run into a water stream. There we go. I think that's a circle. I think so. We can send the machine around to check. I'm watching. It's then it's done it. And there we go. So huge thanks to Sandy for getting this one set up. It was a very big help. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So down here, as I showed in the last episode, is uh, where they all come out. And instead of a water uh, system, we've gone for conveyor belts. So it makes it a bit easier. And I've you know, set them all up so they, they all go to their respective places. So as I have said... We will now move on to the dragon fight. Enjoy! The longer you guys take, the more silverfish I kill, by the way. What? Wow. Isaac! <laughs> I'm at the portal spot. Killing silverfish. Uh, is, there, uh, is there even a way? Uh, what is it called? Um, <laughs> is it this one? <gasps> yep. I don't even so care. What the heck? <laughs> Why is this on? Okay, I'm Sandy? coming. I'm coming. Come. Come. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nah. <laughs> this is Dad's Besido. Yes. Besido. Perfect. Oh, no. I'm just shooting Isaac because he was killing silverfish. Uh, I'm broken. <laughs> I can't hear the music anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway, let's get in. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hello. It just fell through the portal. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> oh, so oh. Do I grow to Enderman? <laughs> it was me! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nice. I don't think so. Those... Dragon! Let's go! Oh, can I please have one arrow? Yeah, sure, no. Don't mind me, I'm just collecting dragon's breath. Got it. Hmm? Which one are you getting powers from? I think it's done, powers. 
You're healing. Yeah, you can. Uh, mm, I got a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Levitating. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. I'm getting her. Yeah. Can Can you? Good. I'll just tell oh, no, it spawns in. Well done. That was so cool. That was epic, actually. Uh, Trapdoor. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm busy making one. <laughs> Trapdoor is equipped. Ah! Please don't push me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, it's on the edge, dude. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> And it's so far oh from land. Why? You can just grab. <laughs> I just yeeted an enderman, uh, enderman off the cliff. <laughs> it's funny, right? Yeah. Oh, I've got bl blindness again. Are you in a dragonwood forest? Yeah. Yeah, that does it. It's the little plants on the floor. I want one of those slimes. <laughs> you you, you found an end slime, Gib. Yep. Yeah. Ah! What is slime. that? It's what a man. It? <laughs> you found is the a giant. You found the shadow I, person um, too. Um, I got something really good for end slime. What? Spawn egg. <gasps> Yep. <laughs> Wait, you killed it? He was killing them. Maybe. Yeah, he's killing them. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. <laughs> she didn't realize it until he went, oh. I don't want to go in the forest anymore because there's like... Things that kill you. Dude yeah, I, I saw that too, but he, I yeeted him off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I found the, the pretty trees that I like. Oh, one of the pretty trees that I like. Okay, I'm on Which my tree? own. I'm lost. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, it's a mossy glow shroom. I'm going in the shadow forest again. Did you not learn your lesson? <laughs> <gasps> I got an end slime spawn egg. What? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants she, that. That is such a conflicting egg. sound. Ow. It's like I want it, but you killed it. <laughs> 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 See, you two did an end slime off the um, cliff. Yeah, it's sad when that happens because you're like, no. But I got an I got an egg though. Shiny Beldum. It's that close to me? No, it's not close to me. I no. Give, Where give. I need it. I need it. Give. So I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Oh, I see you, Isaac. Free. <gasps> I saw... I saw you fly by. Stalker. Take me to your nest. What if they don't want to? I will force them. <laughs> what? Don't yeah, deforest. No, I said I will force them. Not deforest. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't show me to your nest, each tree will be gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just start threatening to cut down trees. Come on, there's like well, there's no village. 300 here. trillion acres of land here. Give me an end city. Give me a nest. I found one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a nest. I found one. <laughs> Give me an end city. I did not find one. Enmity, yeah. you've got secret so powers. Yeah, I'm gonna ban her soon. Hey. From hack abuse. Hey. Hack abuse? So she's allowed a hack, but just don't abuse it. Yeah. What? Someone's been here! <laughs> it was me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so cool. I should have looted like almost all houses. You know? I found an end city! <laughs> Yeah, nice. With a I'm boat. Gonna <laughs> I'm nice. gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Or is it the one Isaac already raided? Nope, no, it's got no. one. See? <laughs> I just found a, a, a head of a dragon made out of jade stone. 
Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And before I finish off, there's one thing that I need to discuss. It's been a solemn start to the year, and um, Minecraft has lost one of his greats. The Jelly the Cat. So, to honor Jelly, Queen Jelly of Minecrafts, uh, my condolences, Scar, by the way. She, I know how much she meant to you. So, uh, I got, I got Jelly. Um, uh, she's in this lead right here. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get Jelly. We're gonna tame Jelly. Come here. There we go. We got Jelly. Yeah, I thought it was important to commemorate Jelly because she, she, she meant a lot to the Minecraft community. You're, uh, you're hearting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna name Jelly, um, and, uh, Maybe we'll we'll make a little shrine for Jelly on the server or something. That would be nice. But yeah, rest in peace, Jelly, and uh, my condolences to Scar. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's amazing. We've done so much in the time since, well, between now and when I uploaded my last video so yeah it's been fun i hope you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already it means a lot well it's for that i get and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye what's your story what's your sign it's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection